hello family good evening welcome welcome once again to tonight's prayer my name is faith and this is joy in Zoe intercession prayer ministries we we'll meet here every monday to friday from 9 p.m to 9 30 p.m to stand the gap and intercede for the unrich and the unsaved across the nations so you are welcome to tonight's prayer god bless you i hope you had a blessed day i hope you had a wonderful and productive day today all right so before we begin our prayers let's bless the name of the lord hallelujah let's thank him for today's people group and what he says to do in our midst today in the midst of the army people as well in their community in their lives in jesus mighty name we pray amen Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord, for tonight. We thank you for the grace. We thank you for the privilege. We thank you, Lord, for <coughs> the opportunity to be here, to stand in the gap and intercede for the unrich and the unsafe people across the nations. We thank you, Lord, for your grace, for the love you have for those people. Thank you for the gift of salvation. Thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for what you are set to do in the life of those people today. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Father, we ask, Lord, that as we join our faith, Lord, praying for those people today, we ask, oh God, Father, let your word get to those people speedily. Let the heart of those people be open to receive your word. Let them come to the understanding of the truth and the knowledge about Jesus Christ. Let them come to know you, God, and your Son, Jesus Christ, and accept him as the Lord and Savior. Oh, Father, we ask that by your Spirit, Lord, empower us to pray your will, the will of the Father tonight. Empower also, God, to pray your will in the name of Jesus. As we pray, Lord, above all, let your kingdom come and let your perfect will be done. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. Have your way tonight. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. So tonight we will be praying for the Zuwara people of Libya. The Zuwara people of Libya. You might be wondering who are those people and why are we praying for them? For everyone joining us for the first time, you're welcome. We we'll see you. We appreciate you. We thank you for joining us. So we are going to give you a brief about those people group, you know, to keep you up to speed, to let you know how um who are those people and why we are praying for them. So these unreached people, they are ethnic group of people that practice the same religion, they live together in the same community, they the they speak the same language. But these people do not know anything about Christ. They've not heard about Jesus. They do not have access to the gospel. Some of them might have even heard about the name Jesus, but they do not know who he is. They have the wrong idea, the wrong knowledge about the person of Christ. They don't know who he is. They don't know what he has done for mankind. So these people need to know about Jesus. The word of the Lord needs to get to these people. As the word of the Lord says that the word of the Lord shall you know cover the, the the earth as the waters cover the sea the word of love shall get to the ends of the earth until then the end shall come and it is also written that the it is not the will of the father that any should perish but that all should come to repentance all should come to the knowledge of christ and be saved so these people need to know about jesus christ the word of the lord the gospel needs to get to the ends of the earth to get to every people group on the earth so we here are joining zoe since we cannot reach these people physically we are reaching them from here through our prayers praying for them praying for the missionaries who are taking the gospel to these people now every information we bring to you about these unreached people we get from the joshuaproject.com so you might be wondering how do we know that these people are unreached now if the the christian the christian adherent of those people if the number of believers the christians among them people who identify as christians as people who know jesus who believe in jesus 
even though they are not necessarily a part of a particular church these people if they are not more than five percent in a particular group they are regarded as unreached people also if the people the evangelical the percentage of the evangelical people who they have identified with the church they have um you know they call themselves christians believers they have also the gift the uh of speaking in tongues and they have the bible they accept the gospel as their only basis of truth if the number of those people are not more than are not more than two percent in a particular group then also they are regarded as unreached people so this is how we know that they are unreached and all this information we get from the joshua project platform for you to know more about those people and how you can be a part of this great commission you can look them up on joshuaproject.com joshuaproject.com to find out more about those people but before you do that one way you can be a part of this is to adopt an unreached people group and dedicate time daily to pray for them personally or um, in groups maybe with your pastor with your family with your friends and you know just pray for those people dedicate time daily to pray for a particular people group you can also support the missionaries and also the the translation of the gospel people who provide who produce this gospel materials that have been sent out to these unreached people you can support them with your finances so these are few ways in which you can be a part of this you can so when you get to the jishaproject.net, you will find out more. All right, thank you, thank you very much. So you see, this is very important to pray uh, for this people group. I hope this excites you, and I hope you were glad to be here with us today. Now back to tonight's people group: the Zohar people in Libya. These people they have a population of forty-two thousand and a world population of also 42,000 they speak the okay the language they speak the Nafusi language they speak the Nafusi language they have their primary religion is Islam and they have 0.0 percent um christian adherent and 0.0 percent evangelical this means that there are no percentage of people who have identified as followers of christ among this people group they only have access to portions of the bible that is the only portions of the bible is available in the nafuzi language they have um access to online audio new testament they do not have access to Jesus fame. They do not have access to audio recordings. That is the Jesus fame. No audio recordings are available in the Nafuzi language. So their status, their status is still unreached. The status of those people is still unreached. Now the Zuwara people, they are one of many groups of the Babars. They live in the far northwest part of Libya on the Mediterranean Sea and are mainly farmers so they grow barley, corn, wheat and rye. They raise chickens, goats and sheep. Today most Babas refer to themselves as the Imazigen which means men of noble origin. The Zuwar people, like other Babas, they are generally bilingual, speaking both Zuwar, a dialect of the Nafuzi, and Arabic. So the Zuwar are mostly entirely Muslims. There's a great lack of Christian resources available in Nafuzi language. So we are praying that the ministry obstacle to those people, the hindrance of the gospel to those people, is that they are lack of resources. No lack of resources available in the Nafuzi language. So we are praying that for funds and workers are needed. 
workers and funds are needed to create resources and to also deliver them to those people so the outreach idea the good news on how we can get to the Nafusa people is that most much prayer is needed sorry much prayer is needed to give the Zuara people a hunger to know and save Jesus Christ so we are going to pray that the Lord will prepare the heart of those people to understand and to believe even now in the name of Jesus Christ amen so we are going to pray for the Zuara people that they will have a hunger, a hunger to know and to serve Jesus Christ. We are also going to pray that God will prepare their hearts to know and to understand, to their hearts to understand and to believe in Christ, even now, even in this decade, even beginning from this year, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So pray in the name of Jesus. Makoto sika palibra do sina mahanda leipa kanto sika pala zo sataya lebre do sina mahanda leipa kato seke ke rabado shapali ba kanto seke de. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we commit the Zuara people into your hands, O God. The Holy Spirit, we thank you. As this people group has come, O God, into your radar, we pray, O God, by the help of the Holy Spirit, the Lord of the harvest, that you will compare the hearts of those people. You will compare their hearts, O God, to understand and to believe in the and the gospel of Jesus to believe in Christ, to believe in the word of the Lord, even now in the name of Jesus. Amen. We we'll pray, oh God, that they will have, oh God, a hunger to know and to serve Jesus Christ. We we'll pray that the word of the Lord will get to them by all means, by all medium, even through the media. We'll pray that the word of the Lord will gain entrance into their hearts, oh God, entrance into their community, entrance, oh God, into families in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you for those Zawara people. Holy Spirit, we ask that you will take over, take over, take over their community, take over their leaders, the hearts of their leaders. Visit them, O oh God, to in dreams, visions, revelations of the night, revealing Jesus to them. Revealing Jesus to them that they will open their gates, they will open their communities to the gospel in the name of Jesus, amen. That as the gospel resources have been ready, oh God, have been sent to them, Lord, we pray that you will compare their hearts, compel their hearts to long, to hunger, oh God, to know and to serve Jesus. That they will open their hearts to the King of Kings, that they will open their gates, their communities to the gospel gospel of Jesus and it will spread across the community and many from those people will, will come to know about the truth, the truth about Christ. They will come to know of the gospel of Jesus. And they will receive him as the Lord and Savior. They will accept Jesus as the Lord and Savior to the glory of your name, O God. They will come over to the understanding or to the knowledge and the truth about Christ. They they will know him and they will serve him as the king, as the savior in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, of God. In Jesus' much less name of prayer. Amen. Amen. So our scripture focus for tonight is taken from the book of 1, Psalm 146 and verse 6. Psalm 146 and verse 6. And it says, Who made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them? Who keeps faith forever? Amen. Amen. So with this scripture focus and one for the six and verses, we are going to pray that God's wondrous work of creation will draw many from this people group to the throne of grace 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Masoka leto sika pakapa leba do sika papa leko to sika pa libre hende kelia handa makoto seke keri bakada ya father will commend those people into your hands. Oh God, standing upon your word in Psalm one twenty six and verses. We pray, O God, makoto seke te that your wondrous work, O God, of creation will draw many from those people group to the throne of grace in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh masete li bakato seke te. They will pray, Father, your wondrous work, your mighty deeds, your strange acts, O God, even your works of creation. Let it draw many from those people group to the throne of grace. Let it draw many from those people group to the throne of grace. Let it draw many to the cross. Let it draw many to the feet of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Maso sata liba kada yabada leipa kanto seke ke kalen koto si kapa libre degede o masata liba kada yabado seke ke ke libada Father we pray O God ma koto seke libada that your wondrous works O God will draw many from those people group to the throne of grace that your strange works your strange acts O God will draw many O God of those people group to the throne of grace in the name of Jesus Christ Amen ma koto si kapa liba kanda ya Oh Father, we give you praise, O oh God. Le soka palia handa. We give you praise, O oh God. We pray kato sekete that those people, O oh God, their eyes will be open to your wonders. Their eyes will be open to your wonders. They will see the wonders of our God. They will see the glory of our God. They will see pasikali handa the power of our God, and they will draw near. They will draw near. They will come, O oh God, to the throne of grace. They will come to the cross. They will come to the feet of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we give you praise, O oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for drawing these people to yourself. Hallelujah. Thank you for revealing your wondrous work, your strange acts, O oh God, your mind to these to those people, for showing them, opening their eyes and their heart to see your glory. Father, we say thank you, Lord, for showing them your wondrous work of creation. And for drawing them to yourself, for bringing them to the throne of grace, to the feet of Jesus, to the cross. We say thank you, Lord, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Next, we're going to pray. We're going to pray for the few Christian believers among the Zuara Babas that the Lord will be quick to convict of sin and will teach them to live in the, in the spirit filled life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Maso kapali bagado sikne hende. Father, we pray, oh God, makoto sika palia for the believers, oh God, among this people group, for any a few believers, oh God, among this world people group, anyone, oh God, who was identified, oh God, as a follower of Christ, as a believer in the faith, oh God. Father, we pray that you will quicken, oh kato seke liba kalia handa, that you will be quick to convict them of their sin, oh God. Father, we pray that you will touch their heart, oh God. You will speak to their heart by your spirit, oh Lord, convicting them of their sins, O God. Let's go to Liba Bada Handa Nakoto Sekeke Riba Kato Sekede. Oh, and teach them by your spirit, O God, to live a spirit filled life, to live a life of righteousness, to walk in the path and the ways of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray, O God, Maseke Liba Baba. For anyone, oh God, among those people group who has identified as a follower of Christ, and a few believers among those people will pray, oh God, that you will uh, quick that they will be quick to be convicted of their sins in the name of Jesus as they hear your word, Lord, as they come, oh God, to the throne of grace to receive Jesus as a Lord and Savior. Father, I will pray that they will be you will quicken their conviction you will quicken their conviction in the name of jesus and you will teach them by your spirit to live a spirit filled life to walk in the ways of righteousness to walk in the path of righteousness and the path of truth in the name of jesus christ amen we pray oh god that the holy ghost will continually walk in them bring them over to perfection in christ in the name of jesus christ open your heart to be convicted of their sins 
Jesu God to surrender na sutili handa kato sekele le pakata their old ways their old worship their old life to embrace the life of Christ to embrace the truth about Christ to really oh masoka palia handa walk the path of righteousness the path of truth by your spirit oh God teach them to live a spirit filled life oh masetili handa kada even by your word in the name of Jesus Christ Amen Father we give you praise masoka to sekeke riba baba dosi kapalia thank you Lord hallelujah thank you Lord blessed be your name God in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen hallelujah Amen next we're going to pray we're going to pray for the lord to remember the ancient prayers of long dead baba christians as they prayed for their descendants to know and follow christ in the name of jesus amen father we pray oh lord that you would remember you would remember the ancient prayers of the long dead baba christians that they oh god that the prayers they have made for their descendants oh god to know and to follow christ jesus remember those prayers oh god and let us be effective let the fruits of the prayers of God appear even now and let their prayers be effective in bringing those people to the cross in bringing them to salvation in the mighty name of Jesus amen Lord we pray that you will remember the ancient prayers oh God of the long dead Baba Christians we pray that you will cause their prayers to be fruitful now you will cause the fruits of their prayer to appear now to show right now now, that many from the descendants of God will begin to follow Christ that they will come to know Christ they will come to follow Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ amen father even as you have remembered these people this day oh God also remember the ancient prayers oh God of their long dead Baba Christians oh God we pray that their prayers for their descendants to know and to follow Jesus let it be fruitful in this time. Let it yield in this time. In the mighty name of Jesus, that many from those people group, many from those people group will turn to Christ, will turn to Christ, will come, oh God, to know you. Let to to follow you with a walk the path of truth, the path of righteousness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Father, we give you praise, O oh God. Oh, Father, we say thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord, for those Baba people, for what you are doing in their life right now. Thank you for remembering those people this day. Thank you for what you are doing in and around them, in the community, as individuals, O oh God. We say thank you, Lord, for touching the hearts of their leaders, O oh God, for revealing yourself to their leaders, to the people, O oh God, that as they come to know you, O oh God, they are opening their hearts. As they are opening the gates of your family, the door of their homes to go to the gospel to Jesus. Makoto sekeli and the gospel of Jesus is flowing, is going from family to family. As they begin to share with one another the goodness of Jesus, the mercies of the Lord, the love of Christ to go. As their leaders to go, they are beginning to open their communities, the gates of their of their communities to the gospel of Jesus, to the missionaries. Oh, masetele we say thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord, thank you, lord for the gospel is going across oh god the zuara community the zuara people group the zuara baba people they are coming to christ oh god they are receiving the gospel of Jesus. They are believing in the word of the Lord. They are accepting Jesus as the Lord and Savior. Oh, Father, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. They are becoming, oh God, dedicated believers, oh God. And they are beginning to disciple others. Their friends, their families, members of the communities about Jesus. Oh, that even your neighboring communities will come to hear about Christ from those people. Thank you, Lord, for the multitude of believers. As you are raising from among those people, dedicated believers, oh God, we say thank you. Abiding believers, we say thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be your name, God. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Father, we give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. Thank you, Father. 
We commit, O oh God, as many that have been on dead unto salvation, O oh God. We pray, O oh God, that you will bring them, Lord, to the knowledge of your truth. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. For your word says in Acts 13 and verse 48 that as many that are ordained, O oh God, for eternal life, they believe. But I will pray, let every captive, let all pass every soul ordained for eternal life today, let let them come to the knowledge of the truth about. Christ, oh God, let them be saved and let total liberty be their testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As they come to the knowledge of the truth about Christ, as they embrace the gospel of Jesus, as they receive the word of the Lord, oh, Masekelia, as they receive the call of the Lord, Father, we pray, oh God, Masekelia, Kato Sekelia, Handaya, let them be saved, oh God, let them believe by the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Makoto Sekelia, Kato Sekelia, Handa, oh, Maso Sekelia. By your means, let them receive your word and be saved, O God, in the name of Jesus. Let them believe it in their hearts. Let them confess with your mouth the salvation of Jesus, O God, the Lordship of Christ. Let them come to O Pasika Handaya to salvation. Let them be saved in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As we begin to live out, O God, your plans, your purposes for your lives, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you for those ones in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, will come in the missionaries, the evangelists, the food soldiers, everyone that I've been, that you have sending, oh God, to bring the gospel to the people across the nations, oh God, that all they who are taking the gospel to the ends of the earth. Father, we thank you for them. We pray, oh God, for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, the release, oh God, Maseke Palia, and of the Spirit of the Lord upon them for boldness, for boldness to speak your word, oh Maseke Libaba, for strengthening their faith, oh God, we say thank you, Lord. Masoka Palia, for reviving their hopes, oh God, we say thank you that even as they go there, oh Lord, Lesoka Palia, they will not be weary, they will not be tired, they will not fall, they will Will not fail in their assignment, they will not faint in the name of Jesus. Everything that you have sent them, oh God, they will fulfill in a grand style. Oh, my secretary, you will fill their mouth with your word, oh God, and your word, Father, you will make effective in your mouth that as they speak the word, oh God, they will hear the people will hear your voice, they will hear your voice, and they will obey. That many, oh God, shall come to Christ, shall turn to salvation, oh God, as a result of their ministry, as a result of the word of the Lord. They are taken out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We we'll pray, O oh God, for more resources. Oh, my city, Liba, Kadia, Handa, that you will raise men, O oh God, giants, O oh God, financial giants in the kingdom, O oh God, people who will sponsor the gospel, who will sponsor Kaleto Sekeda, resources, O oh God, needed, every resource is needed for the gospel to, to take the gospel to the ends of the earth. But I let it be divinely provided in the name of Jesus. Let it be divine. Every resource sources in that to spread the gospel to the ends of the earth to take the gospel to the ends of the earth father we thank you let it be delivered let it be divinely provided in the mighty name of jesus christ amen hallelujah labor soka labor kadus namahanda lord we thank you lord for the children for the youth of this generations even though the generations to come will pray, oh God, your word say that no man will tell his or brother know the Lord, for they will know him for themselves. But I will pray that it shall be the generation that will know the Lord for themselves. Oh, my spirit in their hearts, oh God, in the heart of every child, in the heart of every youth, oh God, they will not be stolen by the enemy. The projections of the wicked concerning our children, concerning our youth, even in, the, in these generations and those to come, Father, it shall not work, it shall fail in the name of jesus only the desires of the lord shall come to pass in the life of our children only the desires of the lord shall come to pass in the lives of our in the lives of our youth for they oh god will know you for the self they shall become great influencers of the gospel in the name of jesus oh my handaya the grace the mind the spirit to defeat oh god every hindrance oh god of the gospel of their spirituality of the righteousness of god in them father let me release them today let me release upon them in the mighty name of jesus christ amen hallelujah thank you lord we decree that they are protected and they are preserved in the mighty name of jesus christ amen hallelujah father we give you praise oh god thank you for every intercessor in the house thank you for every member of joins or intercessor prayer group ministry we thank you lord for the grace oh god for 
to stand in the gap to keep keeping the word let it be greatly multiplied upon us in the mighty name of jesus and for every intercessor that you are raising on this platform let the grace to pray be multiplied greatly multiplied upon us in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ amen father we give you praise for everyone you were saving on this platform oh god and who are yet to be saved that will come in contact with this prayer materials father that you are convicting and converting to yourself we say thank you lord thank you lord hallelujah blessed be your name thank you as to all our prayers tonight in jesus matchless name we pray amen and amen hallelujah amen God bless you, family. Thank you, thank you for joining us again in tonight's prayer. Don't forget this prayer continues tomorrow, 9 p.m. to 19 p.m. Do want to invite your friends, your family, and your loved ones to join, to be a part of this great commission, knowing that as you are doing this, you are doing the will of the Father, and the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a wonderful night. Rest. Shalom, shalom.